A local school board member is getting a chance to play a big part in reforming Florida's education system. This can be a school board member, Patty Hightower, has a new seat at a special education committee just created by Florida's education commissioner. She spoke with Channel 3's Anthony Perra earlier today, and he joins us now in the studio with some of the areas of education that she thinks the state need, leaders need to look at. Well, Patty Hightower says if she had to give the Florida education system a letter grade, she'd give it a C. It's average and proficient, but she says there's a lot of room for improvement. Florida classrooms seem to be on the verge of major changes. Just this week, Governor Rick Scott scrapping a mandatory reading and writing test for high school juniors. And State Education Commissioner Pam Stewart creating a special committee to look at the issues at Florida schools. Patty Hightower will be one of 11 members on that roundtable. I think we can get into conversations and I'm sure we will at this committee meeting because I look at the, the variety of people on there. Members include the commissioner herself, as well as administrators, teachers and parents from around the state. Hightower is the only local name. In her 11th year serving on the school board, she currently serves as chair. Her appointment to the state committee comes as Florida is set to implement the Florida Standards Assessment, a series of state proficiency exams taking heat from educators and lawmakers getting pushback from the teachers and superintendents about too many state tests. Many of the tests use not only to assess students, but evaluate teachers. Hightower is echoing the same concerns. I think we've kind of gone over the edge on that. So I think we need to look at assessments and I think we need to look at the piece about assessments and teacher evaluation, um, you know, to really come up with a good model for that. Another issue she'd like to tackle at a state level is giving more control back to the school districts. For example, the freedom for local school leaders to choose the start of the school year. We in our communities know best about how our communities need to be educated. Hightower says she and other committee members are scheduled for a conference call next month. They'll arrange for a time and place to meet from there. Bob, Sue.